Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the difference between an isolated ground outlet and a common outlet found in most residential and commercial applications. So, let's take a look at this outlet really quick. Uh, this is a basic decora punch. You've got, this is commonly referred to as a duplex outlet. Um, looking at its construction, you have your two hot terminals that are right here. You have your two neutral terminals right here, and then you have your ground. So, the strap that holds this connector in place has this ground screw that's tapped into it. So when you're mounting this, commonly in an older building, you would take this ground screw and mount it to the back of the box. So if my hand is the box, the outlet's mounted into the box like this. So this ground screw is mounted via wire and screwed into the back of the box uh, to get your ground if you don't have ground run. In newer construction where you're dealing with Romex where there's a black wire for your hot, a white wire for your neutral, and a bare wire for your ground, the bare wire would go around here and addition go to the box. Um, so I'm going to grab my multimeter here and this is just set on, on continuity so if we touch our ground pin in our outlet like this and we touch the screw we get continuity and then if we also touch the chassis we get continuity because this screw is just tapped into the chassis. Now here's where the isolated ground comes into play. If you're dealing with an audiovisual system and multiple components are, and you have multiple outlets in a room that are grounded in the same way, meaning they don't go back to the box, they only ground to the breaker box, they only ground locally at each wall outlet. You could have several different grounds, and this can bring in noise, uh, be it static or hum, into your audio system. So, the way that we get around that is we use what's called an isolated ground. So, what an isolated ground outlet is is it separates this part of your outlet part from the chassis. So if we take our multimeter in here and we touch our ground pin and our chassis, we don't get continuity, which means this is isolated. So if we touch our green screw, that's where we get continuity. So if you're dealing with a larger system, a commercial system, that has multiple sources of power running back and forth within one conduit line, sometimes if you use an isolated ground outlet, you can clean up some of the noise that you would be experiencing. Now in most applications, noise doesn't really matter unless you're dealing with sensitive electronics or audio systems specifically. So for my world, it's based around an audio system. So a lot of the times this outlet can help you reduce some noise. That being said, if you have an older home or you have an older, older installation that it only has um, a neutral and a hot wire running to your box and it's grounded at the box, this outlet really isn't going to help you because you're essentially grounding it to the box itself. So it, it won't really help. So if you use this outlet, you have to make sure that there is a bare copper wire running back to your um, your main breaker box. So uh, th that's a whole nother video of how to, how to isolate your ground at that point. But again, the main difference between these two outlets, if you're looking at them, are one, there's a, there's, this is a much better build quality than this. This is a $14 outlet. This is a $5 outlet. Um, the ground screw isolates the duplex portion from the chassis. And in our standard outlet, this is just tapped in. This, this chassis that my hand is on right here is the same as this, and this wires to the ground pin. So um, I hope this video was just a quick, quick and dirty explanation of, of the difference between the two of these. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below, and I'll answer them the best that I can. Hope everybody has a great day.